Chris has experienced enough. They've had a tough start. I'm sure they'll have been working through the international break. I don't know how many players he's had away uh, to make sure that they get off to a good start now uh, from, from after the international break. And I remember the last one when we played Sheffield Wednesday and uh, we ended up getting the doing having had good results. We'd beaten Swansea before that. So, you know, you don't see things could the international break. How does it affect everybody? I don't know. Players are away. Some teams have players there. Uh, but no, look, there's no, there's going to be no, nothing given and nothing expected from either of us. Chris Hewton is a fantastic manager and he's got a great squad there. Um, Trolls is his assistant who we worked with here for, for many years and I know how good of a coach he is. So it's... It's 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 a it's a tough one because you expect a team like Forest to be probably higher in the league, but um, you know with the quality they possess uh, in their squad that it's going to be an extremely tough game on Sunday. Um, I'm sure the last two weeks they've been working hard, focusing on our game specifically to to try and get some points on the board. So it's going to be a tough game, extremely tough. Uh, they're going to be right at it, and especially being at home, um, Forest is one of my favourite places to play. It's a great stadium. Their fans get on top of you um, when their team are doing well. So we'll have to try and quieten down the crowd and, and be professional and, and do a good job And because um, it's going to be a tough game. No, I fully expect it to be a really tough game. They had issues with COVID, didn't they? So I think that that's, that caused problems. You know, you don't need that at the start of the season. You only have to have one bad result. And then that can be quickly followed by another one. And... And I've watched the games. They've been very close. It's been by a goal pretty much most of the time. They've not played badly in them. And yet they are where they are. So I don't think they've all suddenly become a bad team. And certainly Chris hasn't become a bad manager and a bad coach. And I worry about where they are. Not for him, but for us. Because they've got to be a reaction. They've had the two weeks. I would have thought he'd be saying, look, we haven't played badly. We've got to get results. And... I would think all the players are smarting as well. You know, I don't think... Because I know Chris, there'll be nobody turning against him, that's for sure, because he's a great guy. Uh, and I think they'll all be with him. So we, we're going to have our hands full on Sunday. It'll be a tough game for us. It's it's incredible for them both. I mean, uh, I've been with Sparky here a long time uh, and his career's been up and down. You never know whether he's going to really cement a place here at Cardiff or he's going to move on. He's had a couple loans and come back and... The last year or so, I think he's come on leaps and bounds in his all-round play. His movement and his finishing has always been fantastic. Um, he just looks much a much more mature player. Um, and I thought when he come on in the second game, uh, in the first game, sorry, um, I thought he changed the game. I thought him and Johnny changed the game. I thought he was fantastic and, and give them the lift they needed. And then um, obviously Ruben starting, which is incredible to start his first. Uh, first start for Wales in a World Cup qualifier, um, absolutely amazing. And and same for Ruben. He's the last year, the progression you see with him um, turn into a man. He's he's obviously a very physical lad as it is for his age, but um, he's got a very steady head on his shoulders. Good people around him. So uh, look, I, I think we're very lucky to have them both here. You know, after Ruben, he got his debut last year. And sadly, we've, we've, we've missed out on Isaac Davis, who's, who got injured in the last training session before the last game. And he, he'd have been in and around it, I think. Uh, Mark Harris, it's the work TC does with them. The strikers, certainly with Mark, he's improved uh, no end and he will continue to improve. Yeah, it's great. And I think it, it's nice when you see players coming through the academy. And it's nice when the other academy lads... See lads getting a game in the first team and then seeing what might happen and getting an international cap. And it's not just coming on as a sub in a in a friendly, you know, Ruben started and Sparky comes on in an important international match that's, uh, that's a qualifier. So it's great for them, it's great for the club.